So today, 20th of August 2020. Oh, I shouldn't have done this coming uphill. Don't film an intro when you're coming uphill. Uh, little YouTube project, YouTube channel. Let's give it a go. You are probably thinking, who the f is this guy? Um, so yeah, let's get to it. My name is Dario. I've been cycling for about just over a year now. We moved a little bit further out into the countryside rather than in a town. So I decided to get myself a bike. A bit of background. I've always been into kind of like weightlifting and gym kind of stuff. So I'm quite large and I've never been particularly sort of light and powerful and cared about power to weight ratio. Um, never been particularly fit. Yeah, just a bit peaky, shall we say. I've never really been in amazing shape. I've been in amazing shape once. And that was like six years ago now. Time flies. So yeah, never been overly consistent with diet or anything like that for a long period of time. Always liked to think I'm active, had a few active jobs, but since you get into sort of like office work, unless you're on job, you will become unactive. And I think a lot of people are anyway now. So yeah, my interest in cycling is better. Like I say, I haven't been cycling long. I used to ride bikes when I was younger. A lot of my friends are very skilled riders mostly on dirt and BMX. Used to ride BMXs back in the day. We used to mess around with dirt bikes over Worley. Chick Sands was too far to get to, so everyone was like, oh, have you been to Chick Sands? Yeah, if you, unless you had like a lift or you went to get a train for like an hour and then ride for like another 45 minutes or an hour, whatever it is from the station, that was like this mythical land. So the channel is basically my interest in cycling, my journey to dropping a bit of weight because I'm quite large, getting more power, do I eat a little bit? Because there's tons and tons of cycling channels that I love to watch, but everyone's like this thin. They're mentally powerful and I'm just like, so this is more of a kind of like everyday person's kind of view on it and my journey to where I want to be or I don't even know where I want to be yet but it's just to get better on a bike yeah and just become more experienced so it's for people that like a beer or two or multiple um mainly Peroni or Moretti and have a slight addiction to chicken wings but yeah it's just document my journey people might enjoy it they might love it they might gain some wisdom from it if I can share anything that I've learned they might gain some dietary advice from my journey or what it will be um, if it's useful to people great if it's not then i'll end up with a series of videos or a channel that um that i can look back on and hopefully by the end of it or wherever it takes me will be quite a cool body of work to have it will be kind of everyday rides local routes around my area i suppose days out to because i'm not it's not just road that i ride i've got a mountain bike too so it'll be clips of like riding dirt with some of my friends who are quite good makes me look bad oh yeah i come off a few weeks ago so yeah i yeah, am quite bad what i eat from day to day and do a weekly check-in including my weight and my power stats i'm lucky enough to have a smart trainer so i'll give you guys like a view of what i'm doing and kind of where i'm at in my training thing there's some really cool training programs on zwift that i want to get into weekly weigh-ins yeah weekly check-ins all my food is logged in my fitness pal so we can kind of look at that and see where i'm going I'm not a nutrition expert. I know loosely what I should be eating, the calories I should be taking in. My current stats, I am 104.8 kilos. At the start of this year, I was 112.9. So I've made that, my maths is terrible. That eight kilo gap down to, to basically 105 in a minute, about, Six weeks ago, prior to my birthday in July, I was like 98.9. So I've gone up again. Since my birthday, I just let my diet slip. So, but I think that's a common thing that everyone experiences. Everyone likes to go out and live life. We're not like all trained athletes. So yeah, it's important to have that balance. So I'm back up now. So I thought, let's start this now, document it, see where we get to. Keep an eye on my stats, do week by week, how I'm feeling on the road with my, my friends. But yeah, it's just a channel for everyone to watch really, rather than, don't take it away from them, but 
the cycling channels on YouTube are sick, but they put an everyday man like me to shame, 104.8 kilos. It's quite a lot of weight to shift up like a, any decent kind of gradient, so yeah. What am I aiming for? General health and fitness, being better on the bike, getting lighter, more powerful, better, better cardiovascular ability. I've never, never been big on running. I find it really jarring on my body. I find cycling, I'm able to withstand it for longer, a higher performance level. I don't know if you could call it that. Treadmill running in the gym is so different to running outside. I'm not a great runner, um, but equally my cardio has never been amazing. So now I've got like a base of cardio I'm looking forward to sort of like measuring that with different fitness trackers and stuff, which I'll come on to in a later video. How are we going to benchmark these things? How are we going to measure them? And it's got to be measurable in everyday life because I'm not blessed enough to not be able to work. We've got a full-time job, although it's working from home at the minute. So yeah, it's just measuring what you can achieve to everyday life. Like I say, it's great watching performance athletes on YouTube, but that's not everyone. So this is going to be, hopefully, a channel for everyone that someone can relate to who also has an addiction to chicken wings. I'll probably mention that a lot. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind liking, commenting and subscribing. I've always wanted to say that. Uh, yeah, so welcome.